Hi guys, this is Ashia and this is my review of the Mid Note Ice Cream Sandwich ROM version 2.2 for the Samsung Galaxy Note N7000. So, just to show you guys, let me quickly head on into settings. And as you can see, this is build number Mid Note 2.2 and Android 4.0.3. And that's an ice cream sandwich. So, uh, Guys, this is the best ice cream sandwich ROM that I've used for the Galaxy Note so far. And this is the one with the least amount of bugs in my opinion. Okay, with this ROM, in the last two days that I've used it, I've had a force close one time, and that's it. Uh, apart from that, okay, this is the Apex Launcher. The ROM comes with TouchWiz Launcher and Apex Launcher. Uh, Go Launcher X is something that I got installed later on. So, everything works. All your default TouchWiz functionality, like you know the S Pen stuff, like where you press and hold to take a screenshot, work. And you and the touch pen is very sensitive. And apart from that, even your the S Memo stuff work too. Double tap, and the S Memo so opens up, and you can right and there's no lag whatsoever and uh, I don't know if this feature existed before but it's nice whatever okay generally with ice cream sandwich ROMs like you know Chris Kello or Team Rockets ice cream sandwich or even the mid note 2.0 there have been issues with the dialer um, that doesn't exist anymore and the force closes are very minimal but the trade-off has been that every time you boot up it says you know updating Android and it takes a uh, quite a bit of time you know it's uh, extra 30 seconds uh, say an extra 30 seconds for to boot up but that is a even trade-off if you want you know ice cream sandwich right away and the apex launcher has also been pretty good and it comes with uh, default uh, you know a few apps preloaded I've I've restored my backup from titanium so I can't show you what exactly is preloaded but there are quite a few apps and they are pretty decent like for example the N7 player so that is another advantage as far as far as cameras go uh you know okay i'm on low battery right now okay let me quickly show you what kind of battery life i'm getting and then i'll plug in a charger and i'll move on to the camera and stuff so as far as uh battery usage goes this is what i've got i've got on around uh, 20 hours uh from around 95 percent charge but then again, this has been with some heavy use. I've been on the phone talking to people for around 5-6 hours solid. And Wi-Fi has been on for a few hours as well. And you can see the phone has been awake all this time. So say if I was on gingerbread right now, you know, it would my phone would probably give me a few more hours. Uh, but then again, this is a decent trade-off because it's ice cream sandwich right away. So now before my phone shuts down, let me quickly plug in the charger. Okay. Uh, all the ice cream sandwich features work for example pressing and holding the home button pressing and holding the home button and you can just swipe to close off apps it works mm. and similarly with notifications the same thing applies okay so uh, all the settings including face unlock work so let me quickly show you that screen lock face unlock Set it up. Continue. Okay, I'm gonna put a bat on. Okay, so uh, lock. And there you see face unlock works no issues with that okay the play shop works as well the android market there is no issues uh, i just don't have wi-fi turned on right now okay at times there are some issues say for example right now i turned on wi-fi and wi-fi doesn't turn on and there are, there is an issue with that uh in the same way let me just show you another quick okay, issue yeah, i know it sounds really i mean it looks ridiculous that you know hi 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 but this is me testing out the ROM at various times so say I send a message out if you if you notice now I wouldn't be receiving a notification there is no vibration there is no notification sounds 
So this does happen once in a while and the only option for us to do is actually hold the power button and hit the restart. <coughs> so you know when the phone restarts I'll also show you you know what kind of time it takes to boot back up so that you can also know you know what exactly I mean when I tell you when it boots up it says Android upgrades and stuff like that. So this is what happens, it says Android is upgrading and it takes a while to actually boot up. Uh, Maxi said, the developer says that this is the trade-off, you know, for to avoid the, uh, what do you say, the sleep of death issue. Okay, now that the phone is back up, you can see that Wi-Fi actually turns on. And this is not an issue that happens every time you turn it off and turn it on, because if you can see I just turned it off and I turned it back on, and Wi-Fi would come on in a few seconds, yep. So it is a rare issue. And once the phone is turned on, if you go into messages, and if you see now, you know, I send a message saying hi to myself. You can see the notification hits and the phone did vibrate. So this issue, this issue does exist, uh, but it's common across every ICS ROM that I've tried, tried out so far. And uh, I cannot say this enough, this is the least buggy ice cream sandwich ROM for the Galaxy Note. So, uh, you know, the last thing uh, before we go, well, let me just go ahead and run a quadrant standard test over okay, here. Okay, I'm gonna run a full benchmark. So let's give it a few minutes. Okay, as you can see, the phone is hitting around 3,355 uh, with the benchmark tests, so that's pretty decent. So that's pretty much it for this review of the Big Note 2.2 ice cream sandwich from for the Galaxy Note N7000. So like I said earlier, this is one of the best ice cream sandwich ROMs that I've reviewed uh, for the Galaxy Note N7000. Uh, it's called the least amount of bugs. And uh, in talking about bugs, there's one thing that I actually forgot. Uh, you know, when you actually, when you are using, when you're playing your music out through the Bluetooth headset, uh, if it's an ADRCP headset, that's all your video remote control profiles, that is the ones with uh, pause play, uh, skipping tracks and so on, you will be able to skip tracks, but you will not be able to pause or, you know, play a song. So, say for example, when you use uh, this headset, the Jabra BT3030, uh, it's a very good headset, you know, it's available from Amazon.com. Uh, the link to buy the headset is right in the description. Don't you hate it when people actually plug in stuff and you're seriously watching a video? Well, I do. Anyway, so uh, that is a bug with this ROM. Uh, so, apart from that, and the notifications, uh, and the occasional Wi-Fi glitch or uh, re reboot, the ROM is pretty stable and the last time I was you know, using a ROM uh, I went back to Gingerbread in a few weeks or, or a few days. I've been on this ROM for a few days now and it's really stable. It is very very good for day to day use. If the notification issue alone is resolved, you know, I'd say this ROM was as close to perfect as a beta ROM can be. So once again that's pretty much it guys. If you want to go ahead and install this ROM, you can click on the link that's actually annotated on the video or the link in the description and that will take you to my tutorial on how to go ahead and install this form. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, uh, if it's technical, you know, try to email it to me or hit me up on Facebook for that, you know, because if it's technical, we need to have a back and forth conversation and it's easier for me to keep track of stuff if it's, you know, in a threaded way on Facebook messages or, you know, uh, via email. If it's in the comment section, it kind of gets a little clustered, you know, in a bit, and it's difficult for me to keep track of what I've been saying to whom. So, anyway, leave a message, uh, leave a comment, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or send me an email, and I'll make sure I get back to you as quick as possible. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.